Hello everyone, welcome back to Kyromox. We're here on another Friday talking about Google AdWords. For this video, we wanted to take some of the most common questions that we hear and answer them for you right here and right now. I've gathered six of the top questions and I'm gonna go through them. Let's get started. Question number one, how do I know if a campaign is working? This is probably the most frequent question we hear uh, because you don't want to be wasting money with a Google AdWords campaign that isn't making your chiropractic practice any money. So how can you tell if it's working or not? Well, the number one thing to do is to install conversion tracking software on your website. Um, this basically links up your AdWords account and your analytics account to your website so that Google can track where people are going when they go to your website and seeing if they end up on the appointment page, if they end up submitting a form, um, if you have any sort of e-commerce, they can track that. Uh, most chiropractors we know uh, the number one way is to either fill out a form or to call the office. Um, so that is what, that is our number one recommendation to know if the campaign is working or not. You can tell from that direct path whether these campaigns are making your practice money. Number two, question number two, do I need landing pages? This question has multiple answers. Uh, the answer to this is depend, it depends. Uh, so sometimes landing pages help improve your conversion rate and that is when you would need one. If your regular pages, your home page or your appointment page or your about page or wherever you're sending people to um, from your AdWords ads, if that's not performing well, then you should have a landing page. Um, a landing page is nice because you can specifically create the content, the imagery, the flow, all based on the specific ads that you're running on AdWords. If you are just sending people to a regular page on your website, you're writing that content for the masses, for the general population that's coming to your website. So landing pages can be good, but sometimes you don't need them. So this is a good case for testing and seeing what your specific audience um, will react better to. Moving on to point number three, does page load time matter? If so, why? The short answer to this is yes. Uh, page load time does matter because it hurts your quality score if you have a slow page load time. So it's not a direct thing. Let me explain this a little bit further. Um, Google uses a tool called quality score um, and the better your quality score, generally, the less you have to pay for ads and the better that your ads do. So sometimes you have a page load time that's, that's long and so you'd have people clicking on the ad and then they jump off your site and because of that, Google notices it. So these people keep going to the ad and then jumping off right away. That must mean the ad quality is low. We'll give them a low quality score. Um, so that's why that matters. It's not a direct thing, but Google pays attention to what people do when they get to your ads. So to sum up, make sure your page load time is as quick as possible. Number four, what are negative keywords? We actually talked about this a little bit on our blog, so head to chiromax.com backslash blog if you want more information. Um, I'll, I'll also leave a link here, but um, to summarize, negative keywords are keywords that you don't want, you specifically do not want your ad to show up for. They're keywords that you know if somebody clicked would be a unqualified lead and it wouldn't lead to a sale. So you don't want to pay for that ad. Okay, so let me try to give you an example based on your industry. Let's say you're a chiropractor um, and you only do chiropractic. So you don't offer um, sports therapy or um, 
massage therapy, let's say those two. Perhaps those two keywords would be your negative keywords because if somebody is searching for those, you don't want your chiropractic ad to pop up because otherwise these people are going to click on your ad, potentially make an appointment and then find out, oh, you can't even help me anyway. So that's how negative keywords can uh, be useful for your chiropractic practice. Uh, number five, do low volume keywords hurt my quality score? The answer to this one is no. So low volume keywords just means that there's not a lot of searches that go on, but if your ad performs well, even on a low volume keyword, that means that your quality score is going up. So you probably won't get so many clicks, but if they're qualified leads, who cares? Last question, number six. Should I bid on my brand? What this means is should you have AdWord ads that target your name? So um, actually I said target and then the example of target pack um, popped up in my head. If you've ever noticed where you do a quick Google search for a big well-known brand like Target or Walmart or something like that, and then an ad for that company is the first thing that pops up. The reason for that is because if Target wasn't bidding on their own brand, a competitor could come in and bid on that. And when somebody searches Target, the first thing that pops up is Walmart. So, or vice versa. So that is why you would potentially want to bid on your own brand. Now, let's say you don't have any competitors who are trying to um, take over the spot or bidding on you, then maybe it's not necessary. Generally, Google gives you a discount, let's say, that you have to pay less to bid on your brand than a competitor would have to pay to bid on your brand. Um, so it depends on your market. If it's super competitive, then you might need to, um, but maybe you don't based on where you are. If you have more questions on that, um, because it's a very personalized one-on-one -on -one basis, reach out to us at chiromax.com. Um, our phone number, emails, uh, and forms on our contact page are all right there. I'll leave a link here and in the description box, so definitely get in touch with us. Um, I think I said last week that this was our last blog, but surprise, we have another video coming to you next Friday. So stay tuned until then. Have a great weekend, guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye.